The last question on your quiz review has to do with a vertical motion problem. This is at the end of lesson 9.6. So if you look at your 9.6 notes, you'll see this um, toward the very end, like the last page and a half of your notes packet. Here, George stands at the topmost tier of seats in a baseball stadium and throws a ball onto the field with a vertical upward velocity of 60 feet per second. The ball is 50 feet above the ground when he releases the ball and the equation h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 60t plus 50 models the height of the ball in feet after t seconds. We're looking to find how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground. And we have to remember that the ground height is always equal to zero. If this equation here then models the height of the ball at time t, we just need to take that equation and replace the h with zero. So we'll need to solve negative 16 t squared plus 60 t plus 50 equals zero. And we can solve that using the quadratic formula. We'll begin by labeling a, b, and c. Here a is negative 16, b is 60, and c is 50. Whenever you're using the quadratic formula, you should always start by finding the value of the discriminant. The discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. So when we sub our numbers in here, that would be 60 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 50. And make sure that you type that whole thing into your graphing calculator. And you're going to end up getting a d equals 6,800. That's the first step of the process. Now that we know the discriminant, we're ready to find the answer using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2a. Here, the b is 60. So for negative b, we need negative 60 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, which is 6,800, all over 2 times a, and the a value is negative 16. Before you put that in your calculator, you're going to want to figure out what 2 times negative 16 is. That's negative 32. And then we can go ahead and write out our two equations. For the first answer, we'll do the plus of the square root. So negative 60 plus the square root of 6,800 all over negative 32. That negative 32 just comes from 2 times negative 16. Then to get the second answer, we'll do negative 60 minus the square root of 6,800, and then divide that by negative 32. And now we put those into our calculator. Let's start with negative 60 plus the square root of 6,800. So I'm typing the numerator into my fraction first, then hit enter, and now divide that by negative 32. And we get our first answer of negative 0 0.70. We're going to round that to two decimals. So negative 0 0.70. To get our second answer, we'll do negative 60 minus the square root of 6,800. Click enter and then divide that by negative 32. And we get our second answer of 4.45. Now remember, these values here stand for a time. We have time equals negative 0 0.70, and time equals 4.45 seconds. Now time can't be negative, so this first answer here we're not going to use. It doesn't make sense to have negative 0 0.7 seconds. The second answer, though, works. 4.45 would be our final answer. So that means that the ball takes 4.45 seconds to hit the ground.